Hey everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be setting up my Hobonichi Weeks. So if you are interested in seeing more about this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, so if you are new to my channel, I did purchase the Hobonichi Weeks and I use this planner only for health and like wellness. So I really don't write anything in here unless it pertains to health and wellness. I do have this beautiful cover from Notique that I keep it housed in. And then I just keep like the stickers that I use in here to, you know, just to have. So... I have this. This is the, again, the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, and I just thought it was beautiful. Like, I love this cover. And then, of course, I put the cover on cover. I did do a little bit of decorating on the inside. And then I am marking my sick days on this page. So anytime that I've been like, not like, you know, regular, sneezy, whatever, but like, I couldn't even go to work. <laughs> I'm marking that on this page. So I was like, I didn't know what to do with this page, but that felt like a really good idea to me. And then I taped all these pages together, which I totally have regrets about that. Like, I wish I would not have done the perpetual calendar pages because I saw somebody use theirs to write their steps down. And I'm like, dang it. Like, that would have been a great idea. So, of course, we have January. This is the progress we are in so far. I need to put a sticker here because I did close all my rings and I just use these stickers from the right place <laughs> and that little icon just lets me know that I close my rings which is the goal for the day every day so I'm very proud of myself for completing that goal this week because normally I do not I do weigh on Wednesday so I'm keeping track of my weight here which I don't mind showing you because I did a whole video about that. So if you missed my video where I talk about like my weight loss goals and journey, be sure to check that out. I will try to remember to link it in the cards above. Um, but yeah, so here's January and then I haven't done anything else for the monthlies. And then for eh, whatever, for the weeklies, I just kind of set it up this way. So I put like, you know, the weekly pages here or just any kind of notes that I might want to share with the doctor. Here is my tracker. And then I do put the meals on here. I don't really, um, I'm not, so, okay. So as far as meals are concerned, like, and that's really why I don't go too much into it because like, I know that even with me eating, I'm not necessarily eating. I'm going to do this while I'm talking. I'm not necessarily eating. I'm sorry. Give me one second. I got this from the right place plans. <laughs> My code is Brandy20. So if you're interested in picking this up, please be sure to use the code Brandy20 so that you can save 20% off your order. She does have sales all the time though. So if for some reason you go and purchase during a sale time, don't use my code because it is more than likely going to be less than the sale but still put my name in the notes so she knows that I sent you. Anyway, so although like, you know, I know the things that we should be eating and the things that we should be doing and you know, I'm 40, like <laughs> I've been to many health classes and courses and uh, I did have the weight loss surgery. So of course they put you through like an extensive uh, program and you know, all of that jazz. So I already know what I'm supposed to do. However, comma, I like to eat <laughs> what I like to eat, like period. I like to eat what I like to eat. So I do try to eat the things that I like to eat in, you know, moderation. But to be perfectly honest with you, like if I'm going to get, if I want wings, I'm going to eat wings. Like I'm, it, I just am. Um, am I going to eat wings every day? Absolutely not. Am I even going to eat wings multiple times a week? Probably not because I don't fry anything at home. So if I'm eating wings, it's because I'm out somewhere and that is, you know, what I decided to get at that particular place. 
So same thing with like, you know, fries. If I want fries, I'm eating fries. Again, it's not something that I eat all the time. It's not something that I eat daily. It's not even something that I make at home because I don't fry anything at home. So I do have like the frozen kind, which I probably need to throw those away <laughs> because I've had them for a long time because I just don't use them. Like, I just don't. I don't make fries at home. How, what I will say too, though, is some of those things will probably change because a lot of the times when I was having like wings or fries, it'd be probably because I was out, you know, at some sort of, whether it's the VFW or some other local, like, I don't really want to say bar because I don't really go to bars, but you know, like the loungy type situation. I usually, especially with the fries, would like to eat those because they help me when I'm drinking. Um, one of the side effects for me of having the weight loss surgery is that, you know, even the slightest bit of alcohol could get me drunk. Like, <laughs> because my stomach is so much smaller, I guess it absorbs and like processes everything much faster. So I could be like really, really, really like drunk for like 20 minutes. And then, you know, after that, I'm like, it's like it never happens. <laughs> so... But because of that, I have one day accidentally discovered that by eating fries, it helps, I guess, absorb it faster. I don't know, you guys, because I'm not any sort of scientist. But in my body, that's just the way that it works. I said all that because I have since given up drinking. So now, like the last time we went out, I was like, "Ooh, I'm going to get a salad. <laughs> And they did order wings and, you know, they did order fries because we were having like a celebration time. And so, I, you know, I ate a couple fries and then I had a couple wings, but I really took the wings and like put them on my salads. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm thinking that even just that, you know, kind of lifestyle change will more than likely also change like my eating habits because before I had surgery, like the idea of giving up fries like broke my heart i remember literally sitting in the room with the dietitian and she's like you know what do you think is going to be the hardest thing to give up and i was like fries and she was like fries and i'm like yeah and she's like dude it's just like frozen potato like they just freeze them heat them up freeze them. like really of all the things in the world you're upset about giving up you're upset about giving up fries and i was like yeah like it may be fr frozen potatoes to you but to me fries are life <laughs> and so she kind of laughed and was like wow okay like most people have something really exciting to say and you just pick fries like okay but yeah for me like fries are life y'all my ice machine my ice machine just decided to grace us with its presence again so if you hear a clink clink in the background that's what that is but yeah so but like I said now I don't really I just don't really eat them anymore uh typically by the time I'm finished eating whatever the meat is I just I just don't have the room like fries are heavier on my stomach and so you know as much as I love them, I can only eat a couple of them before I'm like so full that it's, it starts to get uncomfortable. So yeah, but again, like I said, now that I've kind of changed my lifestyle a little bit, I probably won't even really eat any of that stuff anymore, which is cool. So in this part of the planner, I do like to put the weather because the weather does like, it does affect my mood, my motivation. Um, so it is something that I like to make note of because in the event that it's like raining or snowing, like I already know that mentally I'm not gonna be feeling any of it. I'm not going to be feeling working out. I'm not going to be like none of it. I'm not going to be feeling it. I'm going to just want to lay around 
and snuggle up with a blanket and watch TV. Like that's just how my body feels when it's raining or cold. <laughs> so because I will know that in advance, <laughs> I can kind of prepare for, you know, all of those feelings. So one of the things that I also, let me see. I think food, I like this pen. Can this is, first of all, let me see, does this fit? This might be one of those all the way across stickers, in which case, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, never mind. I was gonna put that, put like the food in there, but that's not gonna work. And I did not mean to pull off next week. Okay, so let's see. I want something for, hmm. All right, we'll just put it in. Nope. I've been using this uh, calm, this Pentel Calm in the point seven in here, just because I feel like it dries quickly enough and I haven't had any issues with smearing um, which is nice it's not my favorite pen in the world but it works all right so I keep track of like pain if there's any excessive pain I keep track of water and my goal right now is to drink three bottles a day. I know that's not enough, but that's what I have to do. I keep track of movement. I keep track of sleeping at least six hours. If I have a headache that is large, like greater than normal, because I typically have a headache daily <laughs> but if it's like beyond a normal headache I do like to notate that I keep track of my poop <laughs> and if I have any issues with reflux um so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday so then I just check off those things when they come and then oh let me I will show you this because this is something that I added here it's like a monthly tracker so all of the things I mentioned this way I can just kind of have a monthly view and I feel like that'll better help me see patterns so I did add this back here in like the notes pages so I plan on doing this for once every month. But like right now, I can see that this month so far, I haven't really had as many bad headaches, which is great because December, like if I would have done this, it would have been like a ton. I don't know what was going on in December, but my headaches were bad in December. So I like being able to kind of look at it that way. Um, and then here, we're gonna put... Uh, I want to use another sticker. So let's use this one and just put meals. All right. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to use these because otherwise I'd have no use for them. <laughs> and I really only record what I eat for dinner because I don't really, um, sometimes I eat breakfast, sometimes I don't. My lunch is typically always like one of those frozen like healthy choice or lean cuisines or something like that just because it's more convenient for me to take that to work so i have a freezer or refrigerator and a microwave in my classroom that i purchased so yeah it's just easier for me to take that this is cute though 
I like the little flags. I suppose I could have done them sideways, but that's okay. I also don't always pay very much attention to these boxes. So like it kind of helps to give myself more space so that if I just feel like writing big that day, <laughs> I can. All right. And that is it, you guys. Like uh, I did have a couple people ask me about the health planner. So I wanted to do this, you know, video with you. Like I said, this won't be something that you see very often because, you know, if I have something super serious going on, that is obviously private. Like I don't want that on the internet. Um, but for the most part, especially now so far, I haven't had anything that was like, you know, serious. So <laughs> hopefully it will remain that way. And I can kind of do brief flip throughs, you know, on occasion, just so you can see my progress again, like the monthly part. I don't mind sharing. I don't mind sharing my, you know, weight loss or gains or whatever the situation is. I don't mind sharing that at, at all. But, you know, if I go in here and I put like notes in like, you know, I don't know. I'm not even going to say anything that I could put in here that I wouldn't want to show you. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to put that. <laughs> I don't want to put that in the atmosphere. So anything that I feel like is a little too personal, then I won't share. But you guys know if you've watched my channel, I'm pretty much like it is what it is. Life is life. My life be life in. And if any way I can help somebody else like that is ultimately what I am here for. That's the whole purpose of this channel is to, you know, potentially help someone either creatively, uh, help someone with some kind of motivation, help someone just because they need a laugh for the day. Just that's that's why I'm here. Like, that's it. That's why I'm here. So everything else that comes along with this, you know, with having a YouTube channel is just an added bonus. But I truly appreciate all of you guys for being here. If you have not already done so, please be sure to like this video and then also hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you as part of the Brandy Janae family. And if you feel so inclined to share, whoo, whoo, child, that would be fantastic. You guys are absolutely amazing and it is an absolute pleasure of mine to be able to sit here and talk to you as often as I can. Be safe. Be kind or be quiet, be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.